Allah, sen yüzümü kara çıkarma. Niye yolun sonuna geldiysem de günahlı. It is widely accepted that the car is probably the most beloved of all mankind's inventions and that the steam-powered locomotive triggered the Industrial Revolution and that the airplane and jet engine are two of the most important inventions of our time. But what is not so widely known is that these inventions include technology invented by the Arab and Muslim inventors of the Middle Ages. Mechanical flight is believed to first have been achieved successfully by the Muslim astronomer, musician, and engineer Abbas ibn Farnas. In 875 AD, after having perfected a machine of silk and eagle's feathers, ibn Farnas took off from a high mountain cliff near his home in Cordoba, Spain. He flew to a significant height, and witness accounts state that he remained in the air for up to 10 minutes before he crash landed. In 953 AD, the first fountain pen was invented. Tired of messy quill pens, al muazz al-Din Ilah, the Caliph of Egypt, demanded of his court engineers a pen which would not stain his hands or clothes. Records show that he was provided with a pen which held ink in a reservoir and delivered it to the nib via gravity and capillary action. In his book, The Book of Knowledge and Ingenious Mechanical Devices, published in 1206 AD, al Jazari described over 50 mechanical devices, most of which he invented himself. Among his most important inventions is the crankshaft and connecting rod mechanism. The hand-operated crank was known in Han, China, but al Jazari was the first to incorporate it in a machine thus inventing the crankshaft. Both the steam engine and the internal combustion engine use crankshafts to transform linear motion from pistons to rotary motion that can drive a vehicle forward. The first application of a double acting principle is seen in his ingenious double action reciprocating piston suction pump. Among al Jazari's other inventions, the Castle Rock was an astronomical clock and analog programmable computer that could calculate the solar and lunar orbits while displaying the zodiac and playing music. In 1551, Takyadin Asadi, the Ottoman's most famous scientist, invented the first impulse steam turbine. High pressure steam was directed at the bucket shaped blades of the turbine forcing it to turn according to Newton's second law. This type of turbine is still used today for water turbines and proved more efficient than other types of water turbines. Later, in 1559, Asadi invented a sophisticated six-cylinder monoblock pump. It was a hydro-powered water-raising machine incorporating valves, suction and delivery pipes, piston rods with lead weights, trip levers with pin joints and cams on the axle of a water-driven scoop wheel. And those were great inventions that still shine bright in the stars of science galaxy. Arzu ederseniz mani olun. <gülüyor> Geç kalmışsınız. Baksanıza kulenin tepesine çıkmış. Huh. Huh. Huh. 
Hakkını helal et Evliya. Hezar Fen. Helal olsun. Hezar Fen. Ha. Sen de hakkını helal et. Helal olsun. De Hezar Fen, Hezar Fen, Hezar Fen. Ha. Ne? Abdest aldın mı? Aldım. İyi, abdest iyidir. Mühimdir. Allah, sen yüzümü kara çıkarma. Niye yolun sonuna geldiysem de günahların başla ne olur? Dememişler. Dediğini yaptı. Uçuyor. Ezalden uçuyor! Serfen Çelebi, uçacağım, uçacağım demişti. Vallahi uçuyor. Bir Bismillah. Kıyamet kopacak, kıyamet. Bu ne böyle? Ta -ta taş yağacak, başımıza taş. Mucize bu efendi, mucize. Tövbe estağfurullah. Rabbimin mucizesi.
This is Turkish Aerospace Industries, the center of aerospace in design, development, manufacturing and modernization of fixed and rotary wing air platforms in Turkey. Thousands of dedicated, dynamic and creative employees working at TAI have a single objective, to meet military and civil aerial platform requirements of Turkey and world markets by developing indigenous products and innovative solutions. The aerospace industry requires leading-edge technology. TAI performs its activities ranging from design to manufacturing, delivery and after-sales services by using modern-day machinery and equipment. The aerospace industry requires high-tech capabilities and strong infrastructure. TAI is ready for the future with its advanced engineering skills, design capability, indigenous solutions and high technology that it uses and produces. With continuous investments, TAI keeps up with the rapidly developing technology. The aerospace industry requires high-quality standards and assurance in every phase of production. At TAI, quality is of prime importance. TAI's quality system meets the stringent world standards including NATO ACAP 110, ISO 9001-2000, ASEN 9100, POA and NADCAP approvals. TAI, being aware of the importance of an advanced aerospace industry, has given priority to design and engineering activities, including modernization, modification, systems integration, MRO, and after-sales support. The aerospace business requires cooperation. With its experience and proven high-quality products and services at competitive prices, TAI is a uniquely qualified supplier for the leading aerospace companies in the world. Being aware of its responsibilities, TAI successfully completes the programs it undertakes on time. The aerospace industry requires collaboration for development of the next generation platform. TAI takes part in global design and development programs with the worldwide aerospace companies. Utilizing the most advanced engineering and computer-aided design infrastructure, TAI today is involved in design, development, modernization, modification and systems integration programs, including indigenous target drones, unmanned aerial vehicles, training aircraft and satellites. The aerospace industry is rapidly moving forward. TAI employees are determined to write Turkey's signature in the sky by combining their vision and capabilities. TAI, Turkey's signature in the sky.
Turkey, rising in every sense day after day. Our country is growing, developing, while the third bridge across the Bosphorus and the third airport projects are in progress at full speed, here comes another giant project to make our economy stronger and our lives more convenient. Here we are blazing a new trail for our country. We introduce our first domestic aircraft to the sky. We are getting ready to make new routes in the sky with our national aircraft. We can fly from Konya to Azurum, or from Mardin to Vaughan, from Bolo to Gaziantep, from Mersin to Sinan, from Denizli to Karsiri from Hakkari to Hatay, or even to other cities abroad, with which we have historical, cultural, and economic relations. From Erzincan to Tabriz, from Diyarbakir to Erbil, from Sivas to Tehran, we can now expand our destinations that were limited to big cities only, to every corner of Turkey with cross flights, one of the greatest capabilities of our new aircraft. Any destination you like will be within reach. Our country's journey to its national aircraft starts with the TRJ-328. The TRJ-328, which is our first step to manufacturing our own national aircraft, is now in Turkey. ERJ-328 is ready for production with multi-purpose use functions, which will be completely modernized and launched into the sky by Turkish engineers in a few years. As an important step towards production of our own 100% domestically built aircraft, the TRJ-328 helps us reduce the 14-year period required for building an aircraft from design, prototyping, quality verification processes to production stage to as short as six years. This way, our national aircraft project will easily come true. and our source of pride. Turkish from tip to toe, the TRJ-628 will be our first national aircraft. A state-of-the-art technology masterpiece to be created by Turkish engineers. A brand new name that will open new dimensions in aviation and blaze a trail of success in the sky, resonating with the world. The TRJ-628, with the seating capacity between 50 to 70 passengers, opens a brand new dimension in aviation, making air transport as practical as road and sea travel. Our national aircraft, equipped with the latest technology, will be able to land on or take off from shorter runways and uneven surfaces. Thanks to the special structure and capacity facilities of our national aircraft, besides being a passenger aircraft, they are also intended for use as an air ambulance aircraft, maritime patrol aircraft, VIP, military transport aircraft, or for special missions. Our national aircraft will provide cost advantage as they will be able to fly fully booked in short distance domestic flights, unlike larger aircraft. And besides transforming our domestic airline system, they will also be marketed around the world, bringing prestige to our country and developing our economy.
Our domestically built aircrafts are taking firm steps towards becoming a leader in the Turkish and the global aviation industry. It is Turk in the Sky, a latest achievement of the Turkish nation who always aims for the best. It is the starting point of the national era in the skies.